billion Y trips into Anthony Joshua and seven other heavyweights as he chases 2019 world title. Dillian White has slammed the entire heavyweight scene as he chases a world title fight in 2019, branding Tyson Fury not very powerful and Yorel Miller a mess. White finished 2018 with a brilliant 11th round knockout of British rival Derek Chisora at London's O2 Arena and is now looking forward to bigger challenges in the new year. When quizzed about the notable world-level heavyweights that he could be next to step in the ring with, the body snatcher had some choice words to say about all of them. On Anthony Joshua. It's a good fight, a good champion, White told Sky Sports. I believe this time around I'll knock him out, because I'll take the fight to him. Last time I sat back and waited, I was trying to box, and trying to wait for him to get tired. This time I'll take the fight to him and I know I've just got to hit him once. I proved that already on two separate occasions, and this time I'm in better shape, physically I'm stronger. More boxing IQ, better speed, everything. On Deontay Wilder. Let's go, baby. He's got power, but a good boxer, a decent fighter, can see his punches coming 10 miles away. He swings so wide, and he's got no boxing skills, no boxing IQ whatsoever. Call this the retirement fight. James DeGale promises to end Chris Eubank Jr.'s career Chris Eubank Jr. finally hires full-time coach from Floyd Mayweather's team Conor McGregor reacts to Floyd Mayweather's knockout farce against Tenshin Nasukawa on Tyson Fury. Long and awkward, but he's not very powerful, and he can get hurt, as he proves time and time again. In most of his fights, he gets put down. I definitely would knock Tyson Fury out. I can knock Tyson Fury out. There's no doubts in my mind when it comes to knocking Tyson Fury out, none at all. On Dominic Brazil. I believe I knocked Dominic Brazil out also. Negron, that fight was crazy, I can't believe he struggled that much with Carlos Negron. I wasn't impressed with him at all. Carlos Negron is a no-hoper. Let's be honest, he's a no-hoper, a powerful journeyman. Those guys are not even keep busy fights at the level that Dominic Brazil should be. Those guys are like a comeback fight, if you've been out of the ring for two years, or something like that. On Alexander Povetkin. He's a good fighter, but also he's a coward as well, because he agreed to fight me at ringside after the David Price fight. Then he said no, I'm not going to fight, I will sit around and wait until I get the chance to fight Anthony Joshua. All of these guys, they are potential big fights. If the public wants to see these fights, you know me, I don't shy away from a fight. I'll fight anyone. Eubank Jr. dishes on sparring session with embarrassing De Gale, which sparked rivalry. James De Gale reveals he might retire after Chris Eubank Jr. showdown. Floyd Mayweather destroys Denshin Nasukawa with Swift Co. in first round on Alexandra Zyke. A Zyke, very good boxer but he's not a heavyweight. If I fight him, I'm not going there to have a boxing match, I'm going there to have a war with him, and make it uncomfortable for him. I'm looking to hurt him. He's a much smaller man, okay he's got good movement and good boxing skills, but I'm not coming to have a boxing match with him. On Yarael Miller. The fat guy? Miller is a big fat mess. I don't understand how he can be supposedly a world-level athlete and just come in the shape he does. He's a mess. How can he be over 300 pounds? More, Hearn, Fury is calling me about fighting Joshua.